Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. It's the Batman C. Lansky. I'm about to get into you know my favorite album, a tropical quest. You know, favorite songs, things of that nature. You know, left my wallet in El Segundo. Left my wallet in El Segundo. Left my wallet in El Segundo. I need an apple bomb. You gotta put me on. But I need an apple bomb. What's it? And yeah, I show you where I'm coming from. I'm back. I'm human. I had it up to here. My day is human. I was in Zim. Yeah. And for the, I care that's how I can watch me come from the lyrics to go. Lyrics to go. Lyrics to go. So, you know, my favorite um, five albums in order. You know, I'm going to go with Midnight for all this first and foremost. You know, came out 93. The year I was born, you know, voted. You know, I'm gonna go with the low end theory, you know, classic, you know, bad classics on this scenario. Who got the jazz? The whole album, masterpiece, you know, then I'm gonna go with the first album, you know, I try historical too, you know, people's events, victims, travel, you know, the album, you know, that album title, you could get, you could get a misconstrued, but you can get the music misconstrued, you know, all of them. Rhymes with silver head and jewels, you know, so that's number 11 on my list. Say, Lansky. Huh? Yeah. I grew up on the crime side, the New York Times side, staying alive was no child, had second hand. Mine's bounced on old men, then we moved to Charlotte Land. The young youth rocking the gold tooth. Oh, mm, the only way I was getting the dream off with. Ooh, and then started like this one, rolling with this one and that one, pulling out for fun. Yeah, so number 12 on the list, you know, the wall, you know, like Drake said in 2013, Wu-Tang Forever, Wu-Tang Forever, you know, some of my favorite um albums by the wall, you know, definitely into the 36 chambers, you know. Give me your oh. Yo. Classic album, you know, that song really, you know, started, you know, the, um, Old Sam Wraith, you know, each, uh, you know, collaboration table dynamic, you know, and they follow that up, you know, um, having a hell, you know, back then, like, now, four, right before, you know, the Cuban links came out, you know, the purple tape, you know, you know, ODB, RP, the old Dirt McCurt, you know, um, shame on you when you step to to the old dirty for the Sue classic album, The Return of the um, 36 Chambers. You know, definitely a classic album. You know, you know, the, the um, like the sports joint, historical lyricism with the nine bed gym stars, the Dow, you know, Matt's first album, classic. You know, everybody really, you know, put on, you know, even Shaheen the Rugged Child, even though he ain't really saying he's official member, he definitely a part of that, you know, on and on. That's a classic joint. Came out the same day as Illmatic. And I'm dropping him how sciences type of, you know, Jim Stars, about to be a real story, you ain't even know them type of things, you know. That classic by the click, you know. You know, I am man, you know. All I got is you. Mary on there, you know, I'm still coping, you know, with the loss of um, Mary character on Power Bear with me. But, um, Daytona 500 on there, you know, that album classic, you know. You know, they, they made my classical joints, even a joint from Don't Be a Man of Soundtrack, you know, that was L, you know. Classic Capitone had Bad Gem Stars on there. You still, you know, Jezza, Reza, all of them, you know. St. Lansky. Yes, yeah. Tell you something right now about hip hop. How Melanie's got a rock. Pen, pencil, a marker. Whatever it is. The average New York. Seems be talking and talking. Black people were walking. I don't walk this way to portray. Those types of today, like all my brothers eat chicken.
Yeah, that's my philosophy, you know, my KRS-1, you know, BDP, RP, the Skylar Rock. So, you know, that was like one of the first duo groups to really come with, you know, the conscious wave, really the first, you know, after, you know, Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five dropped the message and things of that nature. You know, prior to that, they dropped, you know, the first Gangster Rap album, Criminal Minded. Had mad classics on there, you know. The bridge is over. The bridge is over. South Bronx, South South Bronx, South Bronx. No mad classics. It's free, but the course money. Oh yeah. Yeah, classics on there, you know. No landmark album, you know. It called it, you know. Even the second album and so on and so forth, you know. Even when, you know, Chaos went on with Solo and did his own thing, you know, the Return of Boom Bap, a classic album too, you know, and the other, you know, Buggy Down production albums got classics on there, you know. Love's gonna get you. It's gonna get you, you know. Mad hell, you know. If you're younger, you from like the new generation, you know, and you ain't hear that album, tap into that. You know, that's the foundation that album inspired a lot of groups, you know, NWA was inspired by that album, you know, even Rent said it. You know, they also got you know them sampled on that album as well, straight out of the comp they resampled them on hands ringing off the Friday soundtrack and other rappers who was inspired and sampled them over the years, even on the chronic. Is later, you know, Logic, when he dropped his album, his debut with Def Jam, when he sampled KRS One on Ain't Related. So, I borrow Staro, you know, that's the foundation, one of the foundations you know, from the borough, you know, the, you know talking about that BRO and X, you know, the borough that started here high, her place, the home place of it. Peace to, you know, Bucky Down Production. Thinking of a master plan, cause ain't nothing but inside my hands, so I, my pocket for the money I spent. Still coming up with Lent. You know, I'm basically taking you out to the Sea Lanks, you score a hip hop, you know, that's another classic, you know. Paid in full by Eric B and Rock Kim, you know. Drop 87, you know, change hip hop forever. Without that album, you know, hip hop would have never became what it became, you know. You know, it paved the way for the future. Rappers, you know, like Nas with that Illmatic, Wolf with that Reasonable Doubt, Big with that Ready to Die, you know, and so on and so forth, you know. Every rhyme after that had to be structured and, you know, on point definitely, you know. They got mad classic albums and, you know, mad songs on that, on that first album. I ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke. You know, the video classic got flavor, flavor in there, you know. You just feel like it's the genesis of hip hop when you hear that and you know, you see that bad, you know. I repeat for president, you know. Or oh, album classic, you know. They even got more classic albums and classic songs, you know. Follow the leader, microphone fiend, you know. The ghetto. Nobody smiling. The ghetto. And then, you know. Sweat the technique, and, you know. Or the ledge, you know. That Joe soundtrack and the final album, you know. You definitely like just tapping if you ain't knowing about that. Right. Hell with cash flows, my disaster cause. Bad snitches, all up in the business. Uh, oh, Peter Dome, you know. That one was like crazy, you know. It was shocking, you know. When I found that out, you know, it's like. Oh, really mysterious, you know. To the point where it's still surreal, but all Peter Dome for sure, you know. Operation Dome's dead classic, you know. Oh, red and gold joint classic, you know. Astro's the finest. You know. They wrap it back and forth with time, you know. Go, go with the flow, you know. I remember many winter, you know, 
Make some more, and it's just trooping out in them New York streets, bumping out, you know. I've been through a lot of, you know, winter days and nights, you know. I'm classic, you got a whole catalog, man. Whole catalog, man, felony. You know, whole catalog, even the Chinese where, you know, they ship the road, you know, them Chinese with, you know, gem stars, you know. Yeah, man, classics, man. So uh, Peter Dawn. Friday the thirteenth, I'ma play Jason. Yeah, you know, next on the list we got, you know, Daddy King, you know, with the wrath of the king. Ain't no half strapping. You know, he got mad classics as far as competition. I feel like he was um I can most definitely double one competition. I to say nobody else was in competition, but lyrically it was toe to toe, you know. You had the punch lines, you know. Dances, the energy, all type of that. Vibes, you know. Smooth operator. Sounds so smooth, you know. Air classics, you know. Bruce Crow, you know, definitely had mad classics, you know. He wrote some classics as well. Or Peter Bismarck, Key, you know, the papers. Nobody beats the best, you know. The album was classic, you know. So, definitely got to be on our list, you know. A lot of classic albums before, you know, Big. Or Big L, even before Hope, you know. The resistant question, you know. Because, you know, came. I can't kill us one L L, you know. I'm just going out to the game, you know. I don't know y'all homework, especially if y'all want to be an MC like me. I'm just so tired. Nah. See, let's get off of my body. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Ride slow, homie. You never know, homie. I need some. Need to pump your brakes and drive slow, homie. Major. Yeah, we talking about Kanye, you know. Kanye, I like you, you know. I really grew up on. A bumper has music, you know. As far as, you know, musicians, definitely on the list that I let's told, you know, my top musician list that'll be coming soon, so stay tuned for that. So, you know, college dropout got classics like Jesus walks walks with me. But with the Midwest is young and reckless. Right, your necklace, you know. All for down, you know. Had new daughter Alexis had hair so it looked like we've and cut it all off. Now I look like Eve. Tell her some things that you can't believe. Email would retail. Well, I'm classic, you know. Last call, you know, I did a freestyle tag right after, you know, I chopped. Oh. Announcement that I was, you know, with Rock Nation and things like that. So, you know, I dropped the freestyle to the last call instrumental, you know, it's classic. J. Cole did that as well, you know. I'm just following on with tradition. I'm retired for now. Oh, back to the classics, you know, that second album, late registration, it's historical, Diamonds Five on there, you know. I back music with. Game. That's classic, you know, real revolutionary. Gold digger. She takes my money. And now we need, you know. I'm coming on there. Love me. Come again. You know, touch the sky on there. You know, that's the first time I heard Lupe Piasco. You know. I just push, you know. I just they hit every bone. Uh, uh, I'm the king of rock. There's no higher. All I'm and say is call me sire. I won't stop rock until I retire. Yeah, see landscape, you know. Back with another vid. You know, we're going to get into a vid real quick, fast. You know, run DMC. You know, the king of rock. You know, walk this way. Bad class. 
down with the king. You wanna be down with the king. Christmas time and holiday queens. Mama's in college games. Yo, Ben Class, they had all PDG on say If you know, you know. The new generation need to just tap in, you know. It's a classic, you know, classic catalog and body of work, you know. That, you know, Run DMC had along with JMJ scratching on the, you know, the rackets and things of that nature. You know, Masters of Ceremony type vibes, you know. Who's house? Ron's house. And Run's house was a classic show, too, you know. I used to watch that heavily back when MTV was, you know. MTV, you know, they had a lot of joints on the MP, but I had, you know, a lot of joints probably big back when I was a youngster, you know, my teen years, but it was the musical, they historical, you know, that was like the new school ever hip hop, you know, after, you know, the beginning of Fourth Brothers, you know, they definitely changed the game, and it definitely pioneered, uh huh, yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely, see that's in my head. Public enemy number one. One, one, one. No lights in the nights. Uh, the 11 base has, you know. Remember, I tell y'all in that last video, I'm against that story when I met Flavor Flav. You know, they told you know, that's going to be a song type of thing, you know. I wanted a movie right there, but you know, definitely the fear of the black planet. Cause, you know, take a million to hold us back, you know. Terminator X, you know, cause 911 is a joke. All them joints is classic for sure. You know, Public Enemy, you know, Generation got tap into that, you know. Shout out to the Bomb Squad, you know, they definitely had, you know, a helping hand, and, you know, Ice Cube first solo album, you know, America's Most Wanted, you know, big classics they have, you know, they had a historical run, you know. Definitely paved the way for conscious rapping, you know. My community, you know. Most definitely, yeah, yeah. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I see Lansky back with another day, so you know. I, I'm gonna just get into a quick story time, real quick. You know, back in my beginning stages, you know, starting to, you know, rap, you know. Probably around the same time I had my first rap battle or whatever. You know, I was a kid, like, 9, 10, yeah, definitely 9, you know, I'm on a grand concourse with pop dopes and all that. So, you know, we run into flavor, flavor. So, I'm a youngster, you know, I'm not even knowing. That's why you got to be up on your jewels, you know, big gym stars I'm giving. So, you know, I dapped them up. Pops dapped them up, you know, they knew what each other and all that, you know, from the streets and all that. You know, flavor was fresh out of, you know, one of his bedrooms, so, right? He's like, yeah, what's up, G? What's up, G? I'm like, yo, what's up, what's up? He's like, you don't know who I am? I'm young. I'm like, yo, nah. He's like, I'm flavor, flavor, public enemy. I'm like, what? He's like, yo, you gonna see me on TV? I'm just a kid. I'm like, all right, all right, copy. Two weeks later, he on um, Real Life. Next thing you know, he was President Nelson. Next thing you know, he gonna flavor a lot. All I had to spend like six months, you know. And I mess it out, you know. I did my homework. This is back in the days when you had to really go get the CDs or see it on TV. So, you know, of course I knew it, you know, fight the power and, you know, all they songs really just study them more. Like, oh, that's him right there. Bad legends, you know. That goes to show you never know who's who when you out there. Try to really know your homework, keep your eyes open, really school to the game, you know, definitely school to the game. You know, that's a classic, you know, legacy, you know, that I came from, you know. Piece of flavor, piece of pee, you know, see Lansky on my body here, you know, that was quick story time, uh huh, yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Just another day living in the hood. Just another day around the way. Feeling good today. That's a classic, you know. Just a Queen Latifah. You and I, T Y. One of my favorite hip hop songs of all time, you know. Off of one of my favorite hip hop albums of all time, The Black Rain. You know, and just all held the Queen, a classic too, you know. I got 
had it up to here or repeat as we speak, you know. So if you ain't hear that tap into that, she got big classics, you know. One of my um hidden jewels, one of my favorite hidden songs is, you know, can't forget about New Jersey with Biz Marquee on the sample of the him. You know, that's one of the New Jersey drive soundtrack. Got no cash on for no what New Jersey drive is. I ain't talking about the drive to the state, I'm talking about the movie. But if you know, you know, tap in, see Lance, get him out of here. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. The C Lansky Network live from the headquarters. Yeah, yeah. So we gonna get into you know, I spice and all that, and where she went wrong in her, you know, hour process and all that things of that nature. Lotto with her, um, Lotto, you know, that was calm in the top of two four, you know, on the top of this. Yeah, you know, had a lot of. You know, I had a lot of eyes watching the things of that nature, but you know, once Tom Ford Kenning and that boy Dreddy started to have battle, you know, it was quiet. You know, everything started, you know, getting rocky, like, you know, the boy that sing peso. You know, I think she went wrong. She should have did a sexy red collab, you know, back when they both were scorching hot. But then again, you know, Lotto had a song with sexy red and young nudie, so she probably felt like sexy was picking sides, you know. I feel like that was good for competition and things of that nature. You know, being that, you know, a lot went on, you know, I feel like maybe, you know, like spreading, you know, Nicky probably locked in too, cause, you know. Nicky was on that pound town free mix and things of that type of, you know, nature. You know, summer releases be the wave and everybody want to lock down the summer, but y'all, she should have dropped probably the top of the year, you know, early March, the latest, cause, you know, once that battle kicked off with, you know, Drake and, you know, um, Kenny, you know, everything was quiet, you know. Even Cole had the, you know, like, like Fat Joe said on the New York song, even Cole was forced to lean back. So you gotta think, you know, I ain't saying it's fast food rap or nothing, you know. I say it's like a drive through, you know. I, you know, that, you know, Kendrick and, you know, Drake cooking up any Hanna's and she dropped that joint. Everybody started fronting, but it's the same type of tone we was bumping for the last three years. Actually, we was bobbing. I'm just seeing everybody with a belly on eight feet. Oh, my, she fell off. By the way, my mind's up. I need three million. I feel like they trying to trade her like one of the mean rappers and, you know, do off like they did Mario Zula or something. Trying to end her career in a jiffy. But if y'all really tired of her, why the only lyrical rappers is the big three that's shining, you know? Most of the rappers that's shining can't rap for nothing, respectfully. I just feel like, yeah, the album probably made or whatever, you know? I, I skimmed through it, you know? I, I, you know? I was doing the morning clean. I, I heard a couple of words, you know? I definitely seen the video of her, though. That was, that was A1 sauce. Oh, definitely, but, you know, I feel like they just want to see her down for things like that. You know, it's crazy, though, but... Like the sun in the evening, what comes up must go down. That's what they jacking, you know. Lance, you know, you know, see Lansky, you know, you want to see how I win. You know, I came for them same Bronx space, you know. And, you know, joke when you got pocket full of land, you know, or you go fall into small fry. You know, I, I always had to get mine with the ketchup and barbecue to this day, even with big rat kids, if you ask me. Let's get into some of the tracks, though. The last joint she did, I don't remember the name, but you know the last day she did after the um Travis Scott one. It kind of reminds people ain't really paying homage. Shout out to Young and May. That's really like a Young and May flow. Like, she tried to, like, pull a Young and May, you know. She switched other flows, try to show versatility, but, you know, she should have had more joints like they did it first with Central C. That'd be tough, you know. That joint would, you know, from time to time I got the video on repeat. Definitely, that. Eh? So it's Travis Scott joint. Shout out to Travis. You know, I definitely tuned into the video. She's doing her thing in the video. Um, the Gunner joint. Ain't jacking that one. But, um, I don't know. I don't know who else was on the album. Was Lil Baby on the album? I don't remember who was on the album or what it sounded like. Um, the Fart joint, yeah. Should have dropped the album around there respectfully, you know. Things of that nature, I don't really remember nothing else. You know, my thoughts is really tainted, you know. I remember what she looked like, though, you know, respectfully. Shout out to her, you know. He can't praise, you know. 
you know, slow money and better than no money, like they said on the um, Reasonable Dot album. Uh, you know, I just dropped my dream of Rock Nation too, you know, happened to that, but you know, I'm a retired musician. Not to know, she might come with the biggest song of all time in the near future. You just gotta stay tuned, though. You know what time it is with me. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. You see, Lansky. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. You see, Lansky. Back with a new episode. So, you know, I'm gonna get into a you know, topic real fast, you know, as far as that upcoming, you know, Kendrick. At the Super Bowl in 2025 and 2525. So basically, I don't know if y'all got y'all hip hop knowledge or something like that. But me being a hip hop historian and knowing, you know, things from the past, present, you know, even the future, you know, um, you know, Hope tied into that. You gotta think Hope had to, you know, battle with my deep and eyes and all that. The infamous summer jam thing, you know. How you could do it even major than that with all the Super Bowl, you know, and you know, Drizzy was talking out of pocket, him a post, but it was sacking, it was the biggest of the biggest, you know, the big balls in the game type of boss, you know, over and, you know, he tapped in and every now and then, you know, him and Drake, the two gym stars at each other, stars, stars and all that, but yeah, him and Wayne, stars at each other, so, you know. Kendrick Rock to pull a Super Bowl, you know, type of summer jam screen in the in the middle of the winter, you know. <laughs> and actually work I ain't gonna hold you. You know, you know. A lot of people want to debate on me about if you know Drake would have won, cut a win, maybe, you know. You know, he was trying to double up when he dropped that buried alive and, and the other joint, you know, he thought he had a lot in the chamber, you know. He froze up like Jack Frost once that meet the Grams and that other joint that had the summer on lock drop. Things like that. You know, we've seen things like that before. That's super ugly for the game. I ain't gonna hold you though. Dr. Rock Nation, you know how I'm coming. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I'm just saying. And I drop if he really if the band and all that play the I don't know. You know, at being at the summer over and all that, breaking drop one of them and bounce back like he did with the push up battle. Just don't know, you know. I just don't know. We gonna, we, I don't know, you know, because I still might want to do a break freeze if I come back in the game. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Yo, the way you come back, you know, I produce instrumentals and things like that. I ain't saying I can post right. I could ghost right. You know, my name is Casper Lance. It might help you come back in the game, you know. But I come correct. I mean, he ain't saying nothing. He seems to regular like battle. I ain't saying, I ain't saying push him regular right because, you know, what happened to that boy? He was talking. If you know, you know, but Kendra got hits and he got, you know, all type of joints where push him ain't really focused on the hits. really straight. You know, the pureness of hip hop, just rapping, things like that. But, you know, Kendrick really studied the game and took it to a different level. Just a different type of monster you want to compete with. So, I don't know, you know, stay tuned for that Super Bowl. Make sure y'all got y'all hoagies and y'all bogeys and things of that nature. There's a lot of smoke in the air. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. It's big mess. Out of here. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. I see Lance, so you know, back for another video, you know, just talking about, you know, you know, I would just end it in things like that. So, what's, what's the next point for the series? You know, what's the next spin off and all that? You know, it's Tariko and the Chicago go spin off Tommy, or they gonna, you know, lock in and take over the drill scene with, with 13 Dirt popped out the kite and started letting it out, you know. I don't even think he was acting in that, you know, you know, you know, no pun intended. It was crazy, but you know, what I mean? it might be an L, you know. You know, Raising Kane and gonna hold us over for the winter. Meanwhile, you know, bundle up, you know, get your ACTs if you went with snow weather, you know, if you not, go, go somewhere on the beach, but you know, that's a crazy show, that was, that was historical, I ain't gonna hold you, I'm gonna have to run it back again, you know, it's only right, you know, but 
Pasti mas Iya most definitely Uh huh Yeah yeah most definitely See Lansky Yeah yeah So you know we gonna get into that You know that big song album You know why I think you know It came and went Respectfully In my opinion Game really you know Ain't got respect for gang you know It's messed up cause you know Coming up in my late teen years and all that Thumb was really one of the nicest in the game, but you know, ever since you know, that um, Kendrick, you know, do what he did on control, and he, you know, do what he was supposed to do, you know, the people ain't, the people ain't strong respect. He supposed to force his way into, you know, the conversation of being in a big three and all that. Those bars at everybody, you know, you can't be humble in this five game. You know, the closed mouth ain't gonna get five, you know. But, you know, he said I came with more dances and all that, you know. He came with personal music, you know, for our life, music that, you know. No hell how hands like me gonna appreciate, you know, I mess with that one, I'm joint, I joint tough, you know, real soulful. But nowadays, they don't want that. I bring four rap, four stats. Let me show you, I forgot I'm tired. You know, even with a, you know, Eminem, the, you know, so we got bit by a spider. Me, it was a goal. The joint with Eminem and um, Baby Ron, that joint tough, very bond. You know, even with two lyrical lemonade videos, you know, that and it's full of it. You know, people still slap that fine in the interview with Charlamagne. People still slap, you know why? Cause you know Drake even, you know that People Jack and he lost, he ain't crying in the public He still up like a stomper, you know And that is truth be told Oh, you know, Big Sean probably really went through something behind the scenes, you know And nowadays ain't no love, ain't no love Either you on that or you clean on that You know it's a lot of hyenas on both very type of vibes, you know? That's just how it goes, you know? You should have really came at Kendrick all the way from Humble, because forget about that other song, Humble about him, you know? They down. That's his, you know, that's his, that's his flow and lingo. You know, Kendrick been playing with these rappers like ragdolls. Even though Drake probably lost, you gotta respect that he didn't even battle them. All these rappers apologize. I don't even respect that. L after L, I have to laugh. I look like James Ty Smith autograph. Uh huh, yeah, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. You see, Lansky. So today we're going to get into, you know, the topic on if Cole redeemed himself. Or, you know, he really got to go to war still with one of these rappers. So he dropped a couple of features, you know, played a collar greens with daylight. That joint is tough. You know, I just did a freestyle and dropped one of the best verses of that um, millennium, you know. I'm a retired. I a rapper though, just the media personality, but tap into that. I repeat when I play the collard green freestyle out now, tap in. But you know, to me, that's like, you know, one of his best verses ever. Celebrated out in the streets of day for nine for week. For week. Absolutely. You know, the beat on there is like Knife Wonder meets Griselda, you know. Either way, Kanye pioneered that style. Even though, you know, shout out to P-Rock and RZA, they birth that style. I don't care what nobody say, he just recorded that verse. So if you got some heat like that in the stash, why well, hold that in the vault? Especially with the battle of people playing with your name. You know, but that's, you know, point one way, you know, he might come back. You know, point two, you know, it's T. Grizzly collab, you know, who hot, who not, you know, the main sample, you know. We know that's recent, you know, seeing what happened to Paul. That's point two, but I feel like he got to battle Drake or Kendrick to, you know, get his title back. You talking his best rapper a lot of stuff, ain't no apologies when it's but it's C. Lansky, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.